Hi guys, I am Nasir. Welcome back to Learn with Nasir and Fatma. In the previous video in this series, I talked about the concepts of least count, significant figures and the assessment of uncertainty in a single measurement. And you can find the link to that video in the description below. And you will need those concepts if you need to understand the concepts that I am going to explain today. So today I will be talking about the rules for significant figures. In order to understand why we actually need these rules for significant figures, let's take an example first. Let's suppose that you have measured the length of an object using a meter rod and the value that you have got is 3.5 cm. And you know from my previous video that the number of significant figures here will be 2. Now let's say that you have taken another measurement, you have measured the length of another object but not using meter rod but by using another measuring device which has 3 significant figures and your measurement is 4.56 cm containing 3 significant figures. Now your task is to add these two measurements and get the final result. Now how many significant figures should the result contain? So here is the point where the rules for significant figures come into play. I will not be answering this question right now. First we will learn the rules and then after that you will be able to answer this question and even more complex questions that I will write on the board. So let's first talk about the rule 1 of significant figures and it is about the digits and the first part is very easy that if there is a digit from 1 to 9 for example 1, 2, 3, 4 up to so on up to 9 if you see any of these digits in your measurement then they are going to be significant that was easy now if you have 0 in your measurement it can be significant and it cannot be significant it depends so let's look into the situations when 0 is going to be significant and when it is going to be not significant first of all if 0 comes in between two significant figures then it is going to be significant for example in this reading 504 5 is significant 4 is significant from this rule and since 0 is in between these two so it is also considered significant figure so the number of significant figures in here is 3. Similarly, even if you have a decimal place in between, since 2 and 3 both are significant figures and 0 is sandwiched in between, so all these 3 digits will be considered significant. Again, the number of significant figures in this reading is 3. Now, if 0 comes on the left of the figures which are significant, for example, you know from the first from, from the rule above that 3 and 4 are significant in this reading. But since 0 is coming on the left side of these two significant figures, the rule says that they will not be significant. So following this rule, how much will be the number of significant figures in this reading? 2. Similarly, in this reading that I have written, again 0 is on the left side of the other significant figures. It will again not be considered a significant figure and the final number of significant figures that we will write for this reading will be 3, right? 2, 5 and 6. Now if the 0 comes on the right side of the other significant figures, then it gets a little tricky and to understand this, this is actually very confusing for many students. In order to understand this, you need to understand the concept of least count that I also explained in detail in my previous video. So in the case of zeros on right, we will look into two cases. One is with the decimal places and one is with the integers. And for both of them, the concept of least count applies. Now talking about the decimal places, for example, I have written 2.340. Now this zero on right means that the least count goes to 10th, 100th and 1000th of a digit. This zero means that in this measurement, you can actually measure till this level. For example, you can measure, for example, 2.341 or 2.342 you can measure till the thousandth in this device so that's why when zero is placed it shall not be neglected it must not be neglected and it must remain here and your total number of significant figures in this case is going to be four this zero will remain a significant figure in your measurement now again if I write a measurement as 1.20, it means that this zero counts to the reading and it is a part of actually the least count and that the device with which this measurement is taken had actually a least count of 0 0.01. That is why this zero is placed here even if your measurement was only 1.2 and the final number of significant figures in this reading will be 1, 2 and 3. Now let's talk about zeros on the right side of the measurement in case of integers. 
Now I have written an example here that you have measured the mass of some object which is a very heavy object apparently and your mass is 8000 kg. Now you have three zeros on the right. So how many of these are going to be counted as significant figures? Here again the concept of least count comes into play. Now for example the device with which I have measured this mass has a least count of 10 kg. The least count of 10 kg means that the device can measure 10 kg, 20 kg, 30 kg, 40 kg but it cannot measure the, the masses in between 10 and 20. It cannot measure the masses between 0 and 10. So in this case even if the measurement was below or above 8000 kg the reading that you might have seen could be So this will always remain zero. It is not going to change. Taking another reading, for example, again, 8330 kg, this will again remain zero because your device is not able to differentiate any mass below 10 kg. So this will always remain zero here, here and here if the least count of your device is 10 kg. So in all such cases, your number of significant figures are actually 3 because this 0 is not being counted, it is not being measured. Your device is not able to measure this level of mass. So your number of significant figures are going to be reduced to 3. But if the least count of your device is 1 kg for example, it means that you can measure your masses to the level of 1 kg, 2 kg, 3 kg. In that case, you might see a reading, for example, 8013 kg. So this digit is not always remaining a zero. It is actually changing because the least count of your device in this case was 1 kg. So in this case, the number of significant figures are 4 and that is why even if you have 8000 kg, if you have zeros here, this zero will count because your device is able to measure this digit. So in this case, if the least count is 1 kg, the number of significant figures will be 4. Just to summarize, if you have zeros on your right side of your reading, you will have to look into the least count of the device. If the least count comes till this digit, 1 kg for example, then you will count this zero as your significant figure and your total number of significant figures will be 4. And if the least count of your device comes to this place, for example 10 kg, then your number of significant figures will be reduced to only 3 and this zero will not be considered as a significant figure. Now I have a question for you at this point. What if the least count of your device is 100 kg and the reading that you have is 8000 kg. So what is the number of significant figures in this case? How, how many how many zeros are you going to neglect in this case? 2, right. So based on this least count, this is your least count, this is your measurement, you will neglect these two zeros and your final number of uh, significant figures in this reading will be 2. Now one point that I want to explain in the case of integers is that you, you write these readings in the form of scientific notation so that you are better able to see how many significant figures there are actually. So for that first I will briefly explain how you are going to count the number of significant figures if the reading is provided in scientific notation. So I have written three readings here and in the, all these the rule is that you will neglect the powers of 10 and before that whatever is written is your actually significant figure. So in this case the number of significant figures is 1, 2, 3. Again you see zeros here but as I told you the rule the number of significant figures will be 1, 2 and 3 and in, the, in this case the number of significant figures will be 4. Now you know this, we applied this rule of scientific notation into the integers case while detecting the number of zeros as significant figures and we write as follows. If the least count was 1 kg, you knew that the total number of significant figures was 4. So we will write it like this. And if the least count is 10 kg, then in that case I told you that the number of significant figures are going to be 3. So in that case I will write the scientific notation as 
so that you are better able to see that in this case the number of significant figures are 3 and in this case the number of significant figures are 4. I hope it is clear. Now there are only two more rules. One is for multiplication and division and the other one is for addition and subtraction. I will first talk about the rule 2 which is for multiplication and division cases. The rule says that the number of significant figures in your final result is actually equal to the least number of significant figures that you have in an individual measurement in your multiplication and division expression. Now I have written this example for you. You can see that in this measurement the number of significant figures is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this 3 and in this again 4. So as I told the rule, the number of significant figures in the result shall be 3. Now the result actually comes out this much long. Now let's say that you got this result from your calculator. So you need only 3 significant figures in your final result as per the rule. So how are you going to shrink this result to only 3 significant figures? Well, you will need the rules for rounding off. You may know them already, but let me explain briefly. You will start from here. And if the digit that you need to round off is greater than 5, then you will increase the next digit by 1. If the digit that you need to round off is less than 5, you will remove the digit and will leave the next digit unchanged. And if the last digit is equal to 5, then there will be two cases. If the digit before that is even number, you will leave it unchanged. And if the digit before that is odd number, you will increase it by one number. So let's apply these rules here. This is 2, less than 5, neglect it, don't change 8. Now 8, you are going to remove 8, it was greater than 5, add 1 here, it is actually 10. So the 0 will come here and 1 will go here. So it will become 9, 0. So this one is already 0, it will be gone. Now this digit is 9, greater than 5, you are going to delete it. But again, the next digit will go up by one number and it will be 7. Similarly, 7 is greater than 5, it will be deleted and the 7 will become 8. And again, 8 will be deleted, 5 will become 6. And finally, you have your 3 significant digits that you needed in your final result and your final result of this manipulation is 1.46 into 10 raised power 3. Now the third and final rule is about the addition and subtractions. You need to keep it in head that if you have addition and subtractions and you need to get the number of significant figures in your final result, you need to forget significant figures for a moment and you need to look into the number of decimal places. Now the rule says that the number of decimal places that you have in your final result should be equal to the least number of decimal places that any of the individual measurements has. Now in this case let's first add these three numbers up and see what's the result. 3, 2, 5, 5, 7. So your result is 75.523 but as I said the number of this rule is going to be defined by the number of decimal places and the number of decimal places in your final result should be equal to the least number of decimal places that one of your measurements has. And in this case, this measurement right here has only one decimal place. This measurement has two and this measurement has three. Note that I am not considering anything about significant figures right here. I am just looking at the number of decimal places. It had one, it had two and it had three. So my result should have only one decimal place. So using the rules of rounding off, three will be gone, two will be gone. And this will be my final result and the total number of significant figures in my final result will be 3. Now let's look into another example and conclude today's topic. I have again 3 readings and I am going to add them. Again I have nothing to do with the number of significant figures and I am only going to look at the number of decimal places. This reading has 4 decimal places, this has 2 and this has 3 decimal places. I told you that 0 is significant, so actually the total number of decimal places here is 2. I, I will be adding them. The least number of decimal places in individual measurements are right here, which are 2. So my final result should contain only 2 decimal places. So I will apply the round of rules. 
3 will be gone, 7 will be gone and for 7 I will replace 2 with 3 and this is going to be my final result which has a total of 3 significant figures. So that's all for today. In this video we talked about the rules of significant figures and how to apply them in different cases and I hope that you will remember these rules and will be able to apply them in your measurements. So if you found this video helpful please leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends as well and if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments section below and I would love to answer them. Also subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. So see you in the next video.